What is up guys, welcome back to another video and welcome today to another FIFA 20 career mode experiment. Last weekend, Pep Guardiola played against Crystal Palace with not a single centre back in the side. The poor that injured, Stones was kind of on knock still, so we went with no centre backs with Fernandinho, Cancelo and Mendy as a back three. And today, we are testing can you win the Premier League with a side with no centre backs? We've got the Man City side, got rid of all the centre backs, and today we're going to be seeing can they compete? Can they win the Premier League? And maybe they can push on to other trophies as well. This is the side you can see. Oh, Pip. It's the standard Manchester City side, except for the fact that we've got no centre back goals. We're playing in at the centre back roles. We're going to have Fernandinho and Walker. However, we do have other options. Angelino could fit in there. Mendy could fit in there. Rodrick could fit in there. Cancelo could fit in there. So basically, it's going to be full backs and central defensive mids filling in at the centre back spots for this channel. So if you don't enjoy the video, you can drop yourself and try it. 275 subs by the end of the month. A sport, huge, 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 huge appreciate it. Other than that, get right into it. Get into the team. I'll be coming through them uh, offline and then a couple of them, a couple of the key games I am going to be showing as well. So hope you enjoy. Let's get into the action. Our first real test of the video, we're up against Leipzig in the pre-season tournament. We managed to get three wins from three. Although it wasn't the toughest of group, can we get through the next round? No, we do not. A 4-3 loss on penalties in the end. And that is the first defeat, I guess, for this. So we're going to jump into the Premier League season now. We also have, well, that must be the Community Shield final. So first trophy on the line as well. We'll go watch this one as a final thing. Can we beat Liverpool? This is always a big one. Points against Liverpool or winning against Liverpool is always well, but no it's not going to be enough it's a 2-0 win for the I was about to say the Blues for Liverpool so first update in terms of the results we are at the beginning of November as you can see we're sitting 6th in the league however with this win over Southampton we'll be able to climb up basically into second place Liverpool are the team to beat who are on absolute dominant form we haven't played them yet which does mean we still have a chance to catch up with them but it's 5 points down if we win this game yeah 5 points down from the first 10 games not too bad boys and still really competitive in terms of stuff so we're going to play the main no we're going to play the second string team for this game actually we're going to leave Aguero for this one we'll just look at this Atlanta result and then we'll look at the Aston Villa game and then we'll jump back and I'll show you guys again in November this one in November in January see how the teams get along but Champions League going pretty strong going to have to ignore Aguero it's probably going to piss him off but we'll just go for it anyway let's see can we get three points against Villa this should be a solid one Walken Fernandinho having the go-to centre-back option with Mendy feeling that's a 5-1 victory confident of what we're doing at this club Turns out we've got one more game we're going to sim first. Up against Liverpool. This is the big test. In real life, City have been the underdog so far this year, weirdly. But they get the 1-0 win away from home. That is a big result. Jesus coming off the bench for a huge three points. So we are at the halfway stage of the season. And we've dropped off a little bit, sadly. We're sitting in fourth in the league. I knew this challenge was always going to be tough. And a couple of key injuries have made things so much harder. Most notably, the loss of Edison for two months. Probably it made a ship an extra seven to eight goals. Uh, which is a goal a week, which is absolutely huge. Meanwhile, Sergio Aguero is out injured still. We have also been missing our top goal scorer. We've got top get big games still to come. We've got January 3rd, as you can see. But everything in a couple of days time, we've got Liverpool in the FA Cup. So all the fixtures are mounting up rapidly. However, in more positive news, Champions League went very, very strongly. As you can see, I believe we went through with 18 points out of 18. Yes, we did without even conceding a goal. We were that game. We we're in the Milan next round. Who I think we should be able to beat when things come down to it. So let's take a quick look. We'll watch through these two games. We'll go with the... I think we need to go for the A's with the Premier team. And then we'll go with the B's for the FA Cup. Because we need to try and drag ourselves back into the side. But 10 points down is a fair deficit. And a 1-1 draw there. Goals in the first and second minute is a strong start. We'll look at this Liverpool game. I reckon we're going to have to beat Liverpool the game if we stand any chance or complete this challenge. But to be honest, even like the Spurs are looking a fair way ahead. We'll see this game. Please don't make me look into another tab. Good. We're going to go B team. That was a lot of red cards right there. So we're missing a load of players. This should be a tough game. Can we beat Liverpool for the second time this season? No, they get the win this time. Probably with a much stronger side though. So one certain game of interest is the Champions League last 16. We're kicking off away from home against Inter Milan. 
This should be a good game. Angel got a lot stronger, obviously, fighting in this area. Can we get a win, though? Two away goals is exactly what we need. Three Belgian scorers. Let's see if we can keep that up in the second leg. Second leg, then. We just need to hold it together. Make sure we pull out the result. Walking for Danino. Remain as the centre-backs. Can we pull through the next round? Yes, we can. De Bruyne and Lukaku back in the world again. We're into the quarter-finals of the Champions League. And as you can see, the league has tightened up a bit. The glad to Liverpool has been closed. And so in the next round, we have drawn Atletico Madrid, which probably isn't too bad, considering if you look at the top part of the draw. But still a tough, tough fixture away from home to kick things off. We've got the full team still out in Phoenix, which is much, much better. Can we get the result there? We do 3-2 win. That is not secure, but it's a good score. We're going to play a rested side for this Southampton game. Keep all the players fixed. We're switching the side up. It's I think most of the team has changed. And we still have to back a 3-0 victory before the big, big game. Can we get through to the semi-finals of the Champions League? That would be a pretty damn good result, considering we have no centre-backs. We... Oh, I need to switch the lines. We do have a full lineup yet again. Couple of the players low on fitness, but hopefully just don't concede and we're through. And that's exactly what we do. Semi-final bound. We, we could win the champo. That's what could be happening here with no centre-backs. Okay, the break for the Champions League. This is the game that can keep us in the title race right here. We have to win. We're seven points down on them right now, but this will close the gap to just four. But if they win a ten-point gap with five games to go, it's way too much. Can we get a nil-nil draw? We really could have done with the victory. It gives us a chance. But it's going to be tough with not much time to go. In their four games, seven points. That bit with Aguero seems to have cost us. And the excitement rises further. We're playing Liverpool for the fourth time this season. We need to get a victory in this one. Full lineup and strength. A couple of the players not happy though, which is very concerning. The away leg, just make sure we get an, uh, maybe an away goal, just don't get battered. Nil nil, we can work with that in the second leg. That's a good result right there. And this is it for our season. We need a win over Liverpool right here. The team has been very strong in Europe. We need a result. Two. No, they go through an away goal. Liverpool, with an 86 minute goal from Mane, have hipped us in the Champions League semi final. Me, we're going to be heading to the end of the season with most likely no silverware. So, at the end of the season, as you can see, we weren't eight. No. So, at the end of the season. No. So, at the end of the season, as you can see, we were quite able to do the business. But, however, nothing to take away from this side. That was a stellar performance from the boys. 93 points is a pretty good record, considering we had no centre-backs. And I honestly reckon, if it wasn't for the fact that, A, the AI is so overpowered right now. I mean, at one side, I don't even think they got in the end. Sheffield got five points all season. So, in some cases, the AI is a little overpowered, giving Liverpool a few too many points. But, yeah, in recent years, 100 points is almost the expectation if you want to win the league. But I reckon if we had lost Edison and Aguero during November, December busy fixtures, we may just be able to win the league. Similarly, in the FA Cup, we just got knocked out of Liverpool. Liverpool beat us in everything. If it wasn't for Liverpool, we would have been lost on goal difference to Spurs in the Premier League. We would have probably made it through the FA Cup if we got knocked out by them. And we would have got to Champions League semi-finals. So Liverpool really shanked it for us in these competitions. They did lose to Real Madrid in the final however did they win the FA Cup as well let's say they didn't take everything they took the FA Cup as well Liverpool were absolutely dominant in terms of stats as you can see no big scorers for us actually I know Aguero was out for a bit there's still 16 goals from 23 games not a bad record De Bruyne got 15 from 30 also pretty decent in terms of clean sheets interestingly Edison by far dominant oh uh, sorry not for Alisson by far dominant Edison 14 though, still second best, and you only played 31 games. But I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you like the career mode experiments, do leave a like and do go drop me time running. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Peace!